The oceans cover four-fifths of the Earth's surface. They are already the largest and most important carbon sink on the planet, storing around 50 times as much greenhouse gas as the atmosphere. To date, they and their highly complex ecosystems have not been fully explored. Some climate scientists are now proposing that global warming could be halted by means of geoengineering interventions in the oceans. Geoengineering is a term that covers large-scale, targeted interventions in the Earth's atmosphere, the oceans and the biosphere. There are two basic directions that potential manipulation of the climate could take. Solar radiation management involves activities that reflect the sun's rays back into space so that the climate heats up less. Carbon dioxide removal involves activities whereby the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide is separated out from the atmosphere. In regard to the second option, climate scientists have proposed that the oceans could be used to absorb and store even more carbon dioxide than they already do. One such technology for carbon dioxide removal is so-called ocean fertilization. Under this plan, many thousands of tons of iron filings or other nutrients would be dumped in the oceans each year to stimulate the growth of plankton. These microscopic algae would then bind CO2 from the atmosphere and eventually die and sink to the bottom of the sea, thus taking CO2 out of circulation. In order to significantly influence the climate, huge areas would have to be fertilized up to a quarter of the oceans. The impact of sowing artificial nutrient on such an industrial scale cannot be foreseen or quantified. That is because the plankton do not simply sink to the bottom of the sea, but are also ingested by other marine animals. And so the CO2 ends up in the atmosphere again via the food chain. There's also the danger of producing toxic algal blooms. Fertilization is intended to cause a massive growth of algae, but this is likely to deplete the supply of oxygen near the surface, leading to a mass extinction of fish. This would threaten the livelihood of fishermen and coastal communities that are dependent on an intact marine ecosystem. Another proposal for harnessing the oceans to control global warming is solar radiation management. Because the surface of the oceans is dark, it reflects much less sunlight than, for example, snow and ice. Consequently, the oceans absorb more heat energy, which they then release into the atmosphere. The idea behind solar radiation management is to increase the reflective capacity of the seas. One proposed solution involves distributing tiny light-reflecting plastic beads or foam on the sea or on the ice surface. The artificial brightening would then ensure that less solar energy is stored in the ocean. The downside is that, if solar radiation were to be reflected from the surface, all ocean-dwelling life forms would have to make do with less sunlight. The technological solution to a man-made problem would thus cause significant additional stress to marine organisms. Furthermore, such an artificial layer would diminish the oxygen supply in the surface water. Unlike other geoengineering technologies, marine geoengineering already has a regulatory framework. It is subject to the Convention on the Prevention of Marine Pollution by Dumping of Waste and Other Matter, London Protocol 1996. Ocean fertilization is specifically prohibited. Despite the above regulations, new experiments continue to be announced and partially implemented for example, under the guise of expanding local fish stocks for commercial purposes. The oceans are indispensable to life on this planet. They provide oxygen, regulate the climate, and are a source of food and income for millions of people. They are not a place for dumping carbon dioxide and other man-made waste, but rather a complex ecosystem that we have the duty to protect. <laughs>